For Wall Street Media, this is Tyler. I'm here with Doug, and we'll help you make money in the stock market with information you can't find anywhere else. Hey, Tyler. Howdy, Doug. Hey, happy day for everybody, all good Americans making yes, money in the market today. Yes, sir. Fabulous, right? I'm happy. Fanny and Freddie are saved. Absolutely. And we've got stuff from Gabelli, who we love, Mario. Uh, you can find the entire conference at wsw.com slash webcast slash Gabelli22. And I got a video for you here. Sorry, we have a video for you. Sorry. Uh, we've got Robert Green. I, I, know, I know that's why I definitely corrected myself. I felt really bad for that. I hear you don't have any feelings. Oh, that's right. You just don't know how to express them. We got a video for you. This is Robert Brady, the chairman and CEO of Moog. The ticker is emoji a He discusses the completion of uh, purchasing by the company by June 2009 of a new runway pitch. Um, first, let, let me size um, the opportunity that we see for our company. <clears throat> um, uh, what, what, what we've said is that um, we will uh, complete the purchase of 100% of this company in June of 2009. So we will be consolidating revenues for about four months in 2009. And we forecasted um, that over that period we'll do about $46 million, close to $12 million a month. So we're talking about a company that at that point will have a run rate of $140 or $150 million. <clears throat> um, um, as John's chart suggests, uh, our, uh, uh, the available market for us is uh, about 40% of the total market. And, um, and I think the $140 million run rate by no means um, is uh, the ent the entire available market. So I think we're talking about a market for these kinds of pitch controls that me that's measured in hundreds of millions of dollars. In terms of other potential acquisitions, we don't see that there's anything that we need to do immediately. Um, our intention is to try to package together the pitch control system from LTI um, our company's um, capability in electric motor driven actuators that, that can change the pitch and the slip rings that carry the power through the hub uh, under the blade and, and uh, to attempt to put together a package solution. So that will be our emphasis in the near term. But we're very enthusiastic about the opportunity for our company in the wind power business. I, I mentioned um, that at the moment our industrial business is a half a billion dollar business. And, um, and if a um, um, year from now LTI is running at a, at a rate of 140 or 150 million dollars, it will be the single biggest product line in our industrial portfolio. All righty, we've got more cool stuff from Gabali. Awesome, right? More cool stuff. We've got uh, Randy Tenset, VP of Marketing at the Boeing Company. Their ticker is BA. He discussed their focus on the Asia-Pacific region, which will become the world's largest market, and also the continued success of their uh, commercial air division, for which their 737 model has recently yielded 5,000 orders, uh, while the 777 has over 1,000. Those guys, are, uh, their machinists are out on strike, Tyler. Yep. It's going to cost them $100 million a day. Well, they've got a, a big backlog going, so it's a bad time for their machinists to be on strike. Uh, it's a bad time to have unions. Um, they should fire them all. Pull Ronald Reagan. That was the greatest thing ever. Good for America. Absolutely. Uh, we've also got Thomas Gendron, Chairman, President, and CEO at Woodward Governor Company. He discussed large contributions to the Gen X Turbo, which powers the Boeing 787 and 747, and also the August 19th acquisition of MPC, a company with $200 million worth of annual sales. We've got Neil Keating, President, Chairman, and CEO of Common Corporation. They announced 13 new locations over the last six quarters, which is more than triple the average rate, including the latest in Savannah, Georgia, hey. which will help boost production along with North America's 199 other locations. They have stuff to do with airplanes in Georgia? We have the we have Lockheed there. Really? Yeah. Just for that comic effect. You, you, you're, doing, you're, telling, Lockheed. you're telling me that that we, big thing of metal is going to go up <laughs> in the air like it's a birdie. <laughs> we make that stuff. Now let me tell you here, son. <laughs> well, if I put my arms out, jump up, I can't fly. And Billy Joe, he was out last weekend, and he can't fly. 
That's a pretty good accent, by the way. I gotta tell you. I've had enough time with you and talking to your parents about what. This is press release. We're very sorry for the commentary on Georgia. I'm sure that someone there knows that airplanes can fly. We're here every day at Wall Street Media. You can find us directly at wsmco.com. Thanks.